Subscribe to Rootstown Gaming before the 15th of December for your chance to win this Araman figure. Welcome to Rootstown Gaming and we're back again with another game of Blood Bowl. My team has made it into the playoffs of this particular cup. Uh, I am now versing another undead style team in the form of a Vampire Counts army. It's going to be difficult. Vampire Counts, even though they've got kind of lowish armour, their high agility and high strength of their vampires, plus all the skills that they can have, can really set me back. Which is a bit of a pain. Uh, the falls will be easy to take down, but even some of those, as you can see from here, have got some decent skills. So I'm not. <laughs> not going to be too, uh, I don't think I'm going to be that great at this particular game. I did lose one of my guys last time round, and as you can see, whichever I, uh, if I win, I'm going to be versing elves regardless. So I'm going to be coming up against agility 4 players. Uh, this is, uh, don't know if it's going to be fun, both the same value, I'm not adding nothing to petty cash. Alright, here we go. Hey! Hi Bob! Hi everybody! Yes, it's me! Jim Johnson and my good friend and Blood Bowl legend, right, okay, Bob Bibbett, who will be bringing you today's to, uh, game. It's going to be another uh, killer, Jim. I, I hope so, Bob. I hope so. In this classic now, I do have a couple of players off, the favorites will surely win. They are injured. He's not going to be cracking, let's be fair. Now, I don't want the throwers in there uh, straight away. In come the linemen. Firstly, I think I'm gonna need to see you got. I see you got. He's got blocking guard. No, oh, what's he doing? <sighs> right. Seems don't like hit me, don't hit me. Front. I'm not surprised seems to be fair. I'm hearing the starting whistle. Ooh, I can reorganize. What have we got here? Oh, God. Did you hear about the evil Gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. What's it done to my players? It's like we organized it. Shall we? Oof, that's a big kick. He's got the ball. Pardon. Check that move. Made him look stupid, you mean? Now, there's an acrobatic routine worthy of a gold medal. Yes, it's nice to see an uppercut followed by a double backflip. <laughs> oh, 
brilliant sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. Oh. Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. That won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> The first quality required of an orc is to be able to hit hard and, if possible, not to think. The latter is considered a nasty flaw. Oh, he's got to jump up. I completely forgot about that. Is it not letting me block? game's gone weird. It's not letting me block at all for some reason. No, 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 no. Okay. You can't say much about that. Something I couldn't do. You legal. Pathetic. Let's move him there. Looks like I can breach this gap here. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less Let's frequent than blood bone players. Amazing. Not really, when you consider that brains are I'm also. Two on the sidelines. I'm not understanding why he's doing that. Strength four, that's why. Ah, uh, sorry. Let's see what he does. Decent agility for these guys, as well as decent strength on the vamps. Might not be taking the others because of the bloodlust rule. Really. It's created a hole. Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. Those two, eh, hey, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Let's push it.
That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Doing well for blocking. That right hook was worthy of a black hawk. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just I'm not going to try and kick him, because if I kick him, that's it, it's just going to be... stadium full of supporters. True, could be a bit one-sided. <laughs> I'm going to get the double, I know I'm going to get the double. This player has opened the slapping box, oh no. which gives rather generously. He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. Knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. Let's try it. I'm probably gonna have to use a reroll. It's a catch! Now this He's got it. just needs to survive. Go, go, go! Oh, calm down, Bob. You're going to embarrass oh. the other team. Go, go, go! Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey! I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big mood sandwiches? Yeah, no way! A little help? Yeah. like to see more oh, often. Hold still and then pow! Right in the face! Okay, we're on the blocks. I'm surprised he didn't try and break away in blitz. Sometimes when you're playing the computer, it sometimes makes decisions that you like what? Blood Bowl is reputedly <clears throat> the toughest of all sports. Ah, uh, so they say. But it really only comes down to taking a few hits. Well, that's some dodgy AI, is that? Yeah, we got where's my plus one strength guy? Tackle. 
Got some strength on the corner. Massive agility and movement. Yep. Let's accept that. Yeah, I thought we were going to put more guys at the front. Still, he's only running two vampires. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, that's well off. Perfect defense again. I'm not really going to change. He's recovered the ball. Oh, that's close to my lines, is that? Oh, a bad kick from me. Very bad kick. Did you know that vampire teams have experimented with using vials and flasks to satisfy the need for blood on the pitch? But it has always ended in failure, as there is always a block or tackle that sends the container crashing to the ground. That's right, Jim. I remember back in 2481, when the Gregan Counts faced off against the Dark Forest Iron Hoover. The match was abandoned when the Minotaurs and the Vampires spent the entire second half trying to drink the blood that was spilt over the pitch. Oh, I remember that match well, Bob. Oh, that, mm. That's why they started right. to feed thralls instead. <laughs> Living containers. <laughs> gonna have to push this. What the? He's done it again, where it's reorganised all my goddamn players. There's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Ha <laughs> ha! Stunned! What an idiot! Vampire down. This bear was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Uh, could be. Oh! Or maybe he's a I didn't realize that's Dutch! Oh, oh. Family. I bet that hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. Doping is really endemic in this sport. Uh, yeah. Isn't it written into the game rules? Two stone players a down. Of knuckle, That's always a good thing. And then a mouthful of dirt. Yeah, he went down face first. <laughs> Got a player in there. I'm not sure what Bloodlust does, so may both down result. This is a good one. Let's have a look what Bloodlust does here. So we've got this guy here, Bloodlust. Vampire, and there's another one with feet. However, he may contain. At the end of player move, before the actual passing, handed off a scoring. I was feeding a thrall player by standing in an adjacent square during the action, making an injury roll for a thrall. Right, so that is pretty... If you fail that, I can understand now why he's not having a lot of guys in there. If you fail that, that's, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. We don't see much of the Heroes of Law these days. No, I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the Heroes of Law hope to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. No. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we don't see them. Damn it. I'm just basically ended up now with... With an injury like that, I think we're talking Korea, don't you, Bob? Oh, 
Sure. He's not senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. Opponent down. This is good sport. He's had to bloodlust his own player. Jim, I have a question for you. Which team was crowned the worst team ever in the Spike magazine? The Streisand Vampires. That's right, Jim, and they all got sticked by their fans. That's all true, Bob, but they re-emerged last year with a new vampire lord, Bracul von Streisand, and they were quickly voted rookie team to watch. What's it thinking? Why have I got this one? I still can't believe my own guy that tried to follow up ended up hurting him to the bloody self. Right. That blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. William. I know I shouldn't do that, but needs must at the moment. Ah! The vampires! At last! A team with class! Not that you're biased, being a vampire and all. Not at all. his first punch. We know the opponent will be out for lunch. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. Well, this player slips between the other one's hands. Yes, and yet they were close. Oof. Don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. Time for some high-quality Blood Bowl gameplay. If you call fondling thralls and neck-biting as high-quality gameplay, then yes. But not all of us are into that sort of thing, Jim. Oh, really, Bob? As if propelling snottlings downfield is any different. Mm, yeah, Jim. Sure is different to me. More blood on the pitch to start with. Hmm, that's right. right, Bob. Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. Good hand skills. The ball is caught. Mm. 
He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. Wow! I can tell you straight, that hurts. That's the first half over. Not soon enough for some players, eh, Bob? Well, a couple of minutes on the life support machine will have him back in perfect condition. Now, the problem is he's going to be able to get the last turn of the game. Now, he's got two players knocked out, they ain't coming back. The problem is that there's going to be more vampires on the pitch. God knows why that was like that. There we go. And the halftime break is coming to a close. Time for the players to get back on the pitch. I can see one trying to hide up in the stands. <laughs> Don't worry, the fans will throw him back. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident when rampant spellcasting caused it's the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. The ball's in play. It's a re-roll. It's always a good thing. Oh, that's a close one. That is a close one to the front line. Clean take up there. Nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. Did you hear that the Orchard Raiders lost their last match against the Dancers? Dancers? You mean War Dancers? Another knockout, doing right well. The face. The other guy couldn't Walk dodge wise, that one. I'm doing all right. Uh, let's see if I can that side. Oh, crap. What finish? What style? What perfection? Yeah, what a hammer blow. Oh, losing. Losing good players here. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly, it's really ugly. Mm, he'll seem to be coming forward. I wonder if I can tie him up. Are you joking me? Yesterday, I interviewed Ripper Bulldrot, the Trolls' super champion. Interesting. And I can tell you that he's as violent off the pitch as on it. He's skinned alive, my colleague from Elf Magazine. What do you expect when you put an elf next to a troll? It's nothing personal, just an instinctive reaction. Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. He's got rid of the ball. Some 
Somehow he managed to slip the tackle. What a shame. Awesome. That reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh yeah, you kneecapped him. Just look at the fans, they're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. It's gonna surround me here. Boom! In the face! And then followed by a clean uppercut! Well done! Too close that time. I've always gone for a power game. And you have to realize that it was only recently that they discovered the purpose of the ball in the match. What fight! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob! Stuns and all the life players. Down and quite stunned, apparently. Oh, a few slaps in the face and anybody can wake up instantly. Turn 11. Four. Why am I still Today's strength five? So that would be coach uh -huh, and owner of the right. Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. About as deep as his team's position right. in the rankings. That's all I need. No. So we now should be. Yeah, so we now be even.
Tottenham up against Steam at 14. Oh, Jesus. Do you know what? Let's see if I can get him out. I don't know if he really liked that uppercut. He may not have liked it, but he certainly ate it. Corruption so widespread that the referees guild can have set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. That's one way to look at things. If you change the jump box, go, I'm sure you should be able to jump up. But, uh, have a look. Getting into it now. Getting into it now. Come on. Come on. Stop thinking. Keep cracking on. There we go. There the we go. Disappear after being abandoned by the supporters. Let's say that some teams who haven't won a match for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's the only way to end a downward spiral. Vampire teams do suck. Blood, of course. Hey, Bob? Yeah, Jim, we can agree that they are not the greatest teams out there. Well, Bob, they do have a huge disadvantage. I mean, all that blood sucking and all. He checked that move. Made him look stupid to me. Doesn't look like he'll be getting back on his feet too soon. He should be up before next week's match. There's one that lets his biceps do the Nice! Body. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, it was a short conversation. Oh, he's got one finger. He's not, he's not equipped for this. 
one reroll left. Good recovery. They're getting dangerously close to the end zone. Oh, again on that precipice. It could be game over. I think he's singing him a lullaby. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh yes, they were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snapping of the Wizards' neck. I think. And then, which throw is the one with jump up? But you can replace him. You can come back here. Even if he scores, though, he's not going to be able to do much. Did you know that vampire teams have experimented with using vials and flasks to satisfy the need for blood on the pitch? But it has always ended in failure, as there is always a block or tackle that sends the container crashing to the ground. Wow. That's right, Jim. I remember back in 2481 when the Gregan Counts oh. fought against the Dark Forest Just Iron Eagle. The match was abandoned when the Minotaurs and the Vampires uh. spent the entire second half trying to drink the blood that was spilt over the pitch! Oh, I remember that match well, Bob. Mm. That's why they started to field thralls instead. <laughs> <laughs> Living containers! <laughs> Big kick again. It's through the lines already. Only got two turns though to be able to score two touch touch down. Two touch turns. The player has got the ball and now he's the main target. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. Let's just beat up some frontline troopers. That reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh yeah, you kneecapped him. Every now and again, Blood Bowl throws up a real mixed bag of the two. Like the Motley Horn is made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast-offs every day of the week. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry.
Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. I knew it'd be ejected, but start flight points on that one. have always gone for power. And you have to realize that it was only recently that they discovered the purpose of the ball in the match. It's a vampire still down there, isn't it? There he is. Ouch! That punch knocked his teeth down his throat! Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. Turn up a game for me. Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. Oh no! That player's gonna wake up with a serious headache. Uh, I'm gonna just keep that bumpfire over there. A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. Oh that won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> Yes! Get in! Versus you got a 2-0 victory over the Vampires. It does mean I'm versing Elves regardless in the next game, but that's the third undead team I've come across. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you want to see more. I'm also on Twitch, which is Twitch.tv forward on Patreon. Just type in Blue Stem Gaming at the end of Patreon.com. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. Those are both on uh, Rootstem Multimedia. Well, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.